Hey, welcome back everyone to the Back 40 Firewood channel. So the one thing that I do get questioned on quite a bit is why I split all of my firewood and if taking a round of wood like this and just bucking it up and leaving it like this, you know, why don't I just use this for my boiler wood? It's about mm, eight inch diameter uh, piece of wood. And then why do I also split pieces of wood this small? Well, the, the smaller splits are for mostly bundles and the roadside stand. But the one thing I want to go over today is um, this wood and this wood were all bucked at the same time and they're from the same tree. So I'm going to split this piece open and see what the moisture content is on the inside of this piece compared to this piece. Now, they've only been um, either... They've been sitting in heat. They've been sitting for about three months only, so it's not that long. However, this is uh, ash, and ash will season and dry down pretty quick. So we're just going to do a little comparison to see, you know, what this round, what the moisture is on the inside of this one, compared to these pieces. So I have three pieces that I split. Um, you can see all of these rounds right here, and I've kind of been wanting to do this little experiment where. I take some rounds, I let those sit along with pieces that were split, and just to see a comparison of how much, you know, how seasoned is this compared to this. Um, I also grabbed a couple pieces of some standing dead oak that I split a couple months ago, and that stuff was, um, wasn't quite ready when I, when I cut it down and, and split it to burn, but I want to crack these things in half and see what those are like on the inside for moisture. I am going to be using the Wolf Ridge just to crack these all open just because um, I don't want to get an axe out and swing it and then have the pieces fall off into the snow and then not know which which side was the inside and which side is the outside. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to get the Wolf Ridge fired up. We're going to split all these pieces in half and then we will uh, see what the moisture percent is on the inside. All right, so those are the pieces all split now with the inside facing up so we know which way, which one to test. So any guesses? Let's start with the smaller round of ash. Twenty-eight. 
21% on the inside. Now we'll go to the larger round of ash. Twenty five per cent on the inside. One of the bundle pieces, twenty one. Another bundle piece, 21. And the last bundle piece, 19. Now for the oak. Twenty-five. And this is one thing that I don't know if a lot of people realize, but you should push your moisture meter in to where it will stick into the wood and not come out because that's how you get a good true uh, reading. So here's that big piece of ash in one spot it's reading 27. So I know a lot of people do have different opinions on when um, and what to consider seasoned firewood or ready to burn. Um, a lot of people will say 20% and under. Um, some will say 20 to 25 is, is fine. So you could see with this bigger piece of ash, this was um, some spots in here were still reading out at 27%. Uh, percent. So in the round form, just left sitting as a round inside, not starting to season very well. Now these already split pieces, they um, they had seasoned down, you know, so if you think about this, three months ago as a round, once it was split, it went from what that one is now, 27 or higher, down to what it was right there, 19, 20 or 21%, I can't even remember now. <laughs> anyway, it was close to 20%. So now I know that these rounds sitting over here against the wall, once I split those, they are still going to need a little bit of time to season properly. You know, this piece right here, almost 30% on the inside. Like to me, that's not um, ready to burn or seasoned. And I know that ash will burn um, with that high of a moisture, but I would rather get those split, let them season for a few months and then um, put them in the roadside stand or make them into bundles. So there you have it, a piece of wood left in the round form, not going to season as fast and efficiently as ones that are split open. So now I know that my bundle wood back here is ready to go, I can make it into bundles, and I can start putting that up in the roadside stand. But that stuff over there, those big rounds, those are not ready to go. So they will need to be split and then give them some time to dry down. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my little experiment today, checking the moisture of uh, some ash that had been sitting bucked up for, well, it's been about, th about three months. Um, but the difference between the stuff that was sitting as a round and the stuff that was sitting as split. So um, kind of interesting. I mean, I, I kind of like to know that stuff myself, just so you know, I can keep, uh, Keep ahead and know that, you know, like I said, this stuff here now, I'm going to have to split it. And then I'll probably have to give it a couple, two, three months before I start making it into bundles or before I start putting it out on the roadside stand. So, again, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.